What's up everybody? Uh, just uh, coming in right quick to do just a real quick video. Um, I know, like I said, I watched Real Housewives of Atlanta last night and uh, they uh, talked about, well, they actually showed Demetra McKinney and Candy Burris' uh, unnecessary trouble, I'm about to say drama, uh, trouble video. And you know, I went and searched for it. I did the same thing with Fizz, you know, uh, Johnson & Johnson video I went and checked that out too so I went and checked this out and <clears throat> I'm gonna kind of give you like how I feel about it as I well I'm not watching it now but I've already watched it I probably should have did a response video like ah uh, whatever probably do that shit next time if I remember but uh it starts out with them doing like a parody of uh watch what happens live so they're shading the fuck out of Andy I was so here for it uh you know it's giving you a lot of bright colors, which is nice, but it like the whole imagery of how they did the scenes outside of the Watch What Happens Live, it gave me Beyonce check up on it. Like that's what I envisioned when I saw it. I know a lot of people were saying that it seemed like it was Candy's video. I would say they show equal parts of both Candy and uh Demetria. And it shouldn't have been featuring Candy, because as Demetria saw, it should have been <clears throat> a duet. Like they should have marketed it as such. But I mean, it, it, like I said, it wasn't bad. Like I said, the video was nice. I liked the way that they did it. <clears throat> um, on some real shit, you can tell Candy was pregnant. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here in front. Like you can tell that she was pregnant, but she wore it well. And I don't know why she like she's trying to be so. I don't want to be shown as pregnant. Like I was so here for Tamar Braxton when she did uh, the one where, you know, of course, you know, she's playing it off, but you know, she's rubbing her belly to show that she's pregnant. Like you know, come on now. <clears throat> um, Let's see, you can tell that the video was very 90s. Uh, like they were even saying on Real Housewives of Atlanta, trying to, you know, something like the boy is mine type. I'm like, okay, let's let's leave the good classics alone. Let's not try to sit here and recreate shit. I mean, it wasn't bad. And like I said, I like Candy, but <clears throat> one thing I will say is she had, like, it's certain artists that they have voices where it is good for a time. And if they don't come back out with anything else, <clears throat> their voice will stay with that time. Like Ashanti. Ashanti has a decent voice to me. But when she fell off, her trying to come back is one of those ways it's like, because I haven't heard your voice, because I don't listen to your music on the regular, it's one of those where whenever I hear you, no matter what you do, it's still gonna be 90s and early to, well, I think she, I think she was actually 2000s, right? 2000s so with candy because she hasn't been consistent and honestly i think there has been a change in her voice from her escape days to now so when it is one of those like i can only take her voice now in small doses and there's no shade like i said i told you i watched real housewives i came to real housewives of Atlanta because of candy on some real shit but i mean it's one of those ways like it's okay and i was upset because in hearing it you can tell that demetria's undersung she undersung like a motherfucker itself and at the very end she gives you a little bit but it's so it's almost like kelly and beyonce you know even though uh candy didn't give us strong vocals she didn't but if y'all think about Destiny's Child, the person who's gonna give you vocals all the time was gonna be Beyonce. And Kelly has a fucking voice, but she will always like, when she's going for that high note, she'll cut it off at a certain point. Like she won't let it flow. She won't keep going with it. And I feel, you know, so she stifles her voice so she doesn't compete with Beyonce. And I feel that Demetria did the same exact thing. Like, okay, Candy's doing me a favor, so I'm not gonna overshine her with my vocals. No, this your fucking song. You sing to the motherfucking rappers because again, my whole thing is this, you do it like you can't, like it's your first and last time. So my whole thing is she need to sing like she ain't gonna never sing again. So that's the only thing I was upset about. And uh, the only thing I would say is, uh, yeah, I wasn't here for how the host of uh, their remake show was dancing, trying to whip a nae and shit. I'm just like, but I would love to see Andy's response to the video because I know he gonna say something. He's probably gonna bring up at the reunion, but that is my real quick, uh, I guess we could say response video to uh, Unnecessary Trouble. If you guys have not seen it, I will do my damnness to leave a link down below so you guys can go watch it. And then y'all come back and y'all let me know how y'all felt about it. Like, am I tripping or am I spot on? So that's all I have you guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys on the next video.